welcome in this lecture I'm going to show you how to create floors yeah and maybe ceilings in your buildings so let's get to it to create my floor I'll come to entry floor I'll come to entry level so I'll come to I'll come to display I'll show you two ways for this entry level I'll use I'll come to floors then on the soil I can use extrusion so now we'll start with this extrusion I'll come to floor architecture then I'll now sketch I'll ske I like sketching the middle so that it doesn't show halfway into my walk well that's it I can finish would you would you like walls that go up to this floor level to attach to bottom yes so let's see it in 3d now That is the floor we just created. Good. So the next thing we we'll do is change the color. So maybe you select on it and you come to this type property. You can duplicate the floor. A deep profile. You can even change the thickness to 5 mm. I don't know. Depending on you. So under this place. You can write floor. However, you can remember it later. Duplicate it. Let's open here and look for something close to floor. Three inch. Maybe can we use that? Or let's come to flooring and check something how about we use wood let's check wood yeah this wood like ties something like that Now yeah. you can click here and play with the scale if you want to. I already love what is there. You can give this 750. Depends on what is there, the proportion. I apply and close. So we have that there. Have that floor there. So the next thing is we we'll do is we we'll create steps. We'll create steps into steps of maybe steps that you step on and then get into the building. So to do that, we we'll come to the ground floor. So when you come to the ground floor now, under component, you click model in place, architecture, okay. Then you come to sweep. Then sketch to the part. Then you now draw on the whole part that you want to have your steps. Let's say you want that step to start from here with a width of 1.8. You finish and you click on edit profile. From here now, let's say you start around 600. Just as we were trying to create paraffin, it's just the same concept. So you move up 150, you draw in 300, move up 150, then you close here and then you come down, finish. I did that because my my DPC was 450. If your DPC is no more, is more than 450, you calculate. You know how many steps. That will reach here so that is why i reached then 
I will now click on properties to change the color uh -huh. and floor duplicates let me duplicate it because later I might want to change I don't know do I also have that there I can click on finish I have that there okay so that's it so the next thing we can do here is to uh, this single sometimes you have this you need to drag it and drop back here goes to its shape so now we can create the ground floor let's say something like the soil yeah like the natural grass so go to the ground floor for that then you come to sweep this this one i won't use floor again i use extrusion just different ways of showing you how to create your this thing now you come to model in place click ok ok extrusion so then you scare like window a large sample size you finish tick one there let's say thickness of one so you have i just kept keep it in 3d so that we can work in real time so now select this is i haven't done the total finish but if you finish you don't need to panic you need to select it again click on edit profile and then select it again and you are back editing so under properties now you can see category you left click on it then you can i can select the whole of this thing i can decide to write it grass appearance i'll duplicate this good then i'll load here let me oh, when it's under this appearance here let me type grass and see if i can find something good i have grass here so i can choose dark grass anyone that you feel can work for you didn't come because i didn't click it twice i don't know let me left click twice good the cancel and say good i've gotten that i'll apply i'll close okay that's nice i don't know let me click on it again open grass appearance let me double click on it and see what we have here can we try one five? Well, I don't know. Never really. Not bad. Okay. Now we have the grass. Let's create another floor, maybe for interlocks. I can finish this then i'll come to model in place again so under extrusion or pick let me pick a rectangle depends on the on your site orientation you can pick off rectangle that's what you're trying to achieve matters got that shape yep maybe i want something like this a big curve there. Come pick this, pick this, pick this, and pick this. Okay, have that it's too thick. I'm here to finish it. Let me see. Two even two mm will show because the first one was one mm. This one two mm to show. So I'll pick here and go to properties. I'll I'll duplicate this. I maybe write inter plot. I don't know. I'll come here. 
duplicate let me on the appearance or any i think some people say they don't get it on appearance let me type interlock and see interlocking select one twice good under here let's see if we can increase the sample size let's try five hundred okay it's showing enough to have that now we can finish it now so we can create something in form of cape stones on the ground floor i'll come to sweep model in place extrusion I can use pick lines or I'll draw I'll pick lines on this old one I can now offset 100 Duplicate. I call that call it caps. Okay. Not bad. right so now i can go back to the ground floor after doing that i can go back to the ground floor so for this lesson so now yeah you can be able to create your already site sighting materials so in the next lesson I also proceed and teach you on how to create railings and maybe flower beds, flower beds and things like that. Thank you for watching and let's continue in our next lecture.